Welcome back to another Lego Man Cave. There's a few more changes made in the city and oh my god we have some lights. So keep watching and hopefully you'll enjoy the video. Make sure you like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Drop us a comment down below. So to start off with we have got some new twisty lights that have got to be installed in the buildings. We got two boxes of 20 and they seem to come in green, yellow, white, red and a multicolour. I thought I'd ordered pure white but that'll just add a bit of extra colour to the buildings. Okay so I've opened them all up and there's a few more. So we've got red and blue flashing like sirens. Black is a multiple flash. Blue, white, green red and yellow so now i'm going to start by putting them in a few buildings turn the lights off and these on and see what happens okay so the way i do it is you get the top you'll put it where you want it twist it and it's on yes you can see it through the lid but once you place it on it lights up beautiful. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. Oh my God. That looks epic. We got the aquarium, the pub, the news agents, the pet store. We got the palace theatre. Sanctum Sanctorum, Daily Bugle, and we've got the toy shop, we've got the coffee shop, the Lego store, the jewellery shop, McDonald's and KFC, we've got the bank, so we've got two on the top there, we've got one for a red alarm. And another one so you can see in the back. They look awesome. And then I've also got the police station as well. Dude, they are absolutely epic. I am buzzing. More new things added for the Lego City. Some motion sensor lights for the sides so you get to see a hell of a lot better underneath the cabinets where this thing can't hit. And the school's been done. The school looks absolutely epic. The walls don't look the best. It's all right at the back, but the sides don't look the best, but that will be covered anyway. But I've even added a bit of detail gating off the front as well. A little coffee cart next to the train station where it should be. Now, what's next? Another new addition to the city. We've got a load of police dogs. With their little vests on as well. Or does that go the other way around? Ah, that's the way it's supposed to go. New change made over here next to the high school. I have put the beauty shop or beauty salon, whatever you want to call it, yeah, beauty shop, on its own. And I've modulised the back of it. The bottom's got a cover, a wall, should I say. The top hasn't. Again, it does come apart. So you can see inside the bottom as well. And then it placed beautifully next to the school and I've put a light outside. I've even paved this bit and put something so that they can have like their little display stands. Paved that area, grass that area. Gonna have buildings all across here. Uh, what else have I done? Obviously you got grass and paving there. And now 
I am starting on the pathway. So I'm going to try and get down the front of these shocks and I'll probably stop about here until I've got the rest of it done. Okay, so a few more changes have been made. I've done all the paving up here and put the little coffee cart with the mascot and a little drink stand. I've paved all here, I've grassed it across there. I've then paved it all the way down and I've put like a dark curb so it separates from the track. There's the track, there's the curbs. Uh, I said I was gonna stop there, but I got a bit carried away and I carried on all the way down, come across the side of the beauty shop and done. And then I also tidied this up and I've done a path coming straight to the chapel from the Asda. And then obviously when I decide what building I'm gonna put there, I can then sort out whatever I'm going to do there. The tree house which I had up there, I've now put down here because this is going to be like the little park area. So just got to figure out what else I'm going to put in there. Thinking swings, slides, trees, you know, stuff that you would find in a park. So that's my next plan. Not doing it tonight because I'm going to bed, but the next thing to do will be all down here. Going to be doing grass patches and pavements. So, obviously, we've got bus stops. You saw, well, if you do follow, then you saw what I did in the last city where I do like little grass patches with the trees. So, I'm going to be doing that as well. And then they might have to just walk on this path around the trees. You know, it's a pretty wide path, <laughs> especially on the back side of it. But then I've got to pave all down here. This will have. A narrow pavement obviously I've got to decide what I'm doing with these oh look the lights just switched itself on I've got a tile all round here and then position the bus stop on top so that is where I am for tonight and I will pick it up tomorrow morning and see where we're at my oh my have I got some more done in this city so that's only temporary till I can get another curve, but that's another road plate. I've paved all round here. Obviously, the basketball court's gone. I've paved all round here, blended it all in. The bus stop is in and fixed. Table outside the ice cream shop. The hotel has finally been fixed down. Kind of tried to blend in a little bit there. I need to do a bit more. Uh, what else? I've paved all down here. Don't know if, oh yeah, I think I should do a little paving there, but I'm not 100% whether that's going to stay there yet. All the paving down here is done, and here's the basketball area. So the basketball area has been moved, and the gate does open and close, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to put some posts in between, like I usually do. I've put elevated chairs so that people can actually sit and watch. Uh, I've told you about the tree so I think for now the skate park's gonna stay there because I can't think of anywhere else to put it but we are pretty much rocking the car park has gone because I've put it down there so what I'm gonna do with that I don't know yet I'm still undecided and just to finish it all off I've made a little crossing or two in the train track for the pedestrians to cross the road oh yeah thank you all very much for watching i hope you're enjoying the progress it's definitely fun doing it a lot of brain power trying to think how i want it where i want it how it's going to benefit in the future what am i going to change around so again make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and i'll catch you in the next video Bye bye